<laughs> Listen, when we come to Jesus Christ, things are supposed to change. That's right. Amen. 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 You see, we're not supposed to necessarily judge one another, but we are supposed to judge our fruit. Mm -hmm. That's, That's right. the indication of where we're at in Christ. He said, by their fruit you shall know them. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what rotten fruit looks like. It draws gnats and flies and stinks. Uh -huh. Amen. You know what anybody like? <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's fruit. And then again, you know what a good fruit looks like and feels like and smells like and tastes like. And that's how we are to know about one another. Not by what you say. And sometimes not even by... What you do, because sometimes we try to work our way into heaven by our works. But the Bible says it ain't by works, but by faith. Amen. With our works. Amen. Amen. We work because of our faith Amen. and our love for God. Amen. Not just work to get into heaven because you can't do it that way. So it's by our fruit we can tell who's who and what's what. By your words, what you say. Are you a man or a woman of your word? Can we take you at your word? Can we depend on your word? When you say you're going to be someplace, you're going to be someplace. Say you're going to do something, you're going to do something. You're going to be there, you're going to be there. Or are you going to leave us hanging? Mm. Things like that. Simple things like that. Are you trustworthy? Mm. Now I was saying, when we come to Christ, how we know we're saved and how we know others are really saved okay, as far as the outward appearance, because only God knows the heart, is that things change in their life. They don't cuss no more. Now listen, I'm talking from experience. I wasn't born in church. My parents weren't Christians. I was a cusser, a fusser, a runner rounder. I did it all. That's how I knew I got saved. I stopped cussing. I couldn't talk to you for one minute and you understand me, 50 words, you don't even get two of them because the rest were cuss words. That's bad. <laughs> we had to have a 20-minute conversation so you know what I was talking about in between the cuss words. <laughs> they were bombs. That's how I knew I got saved. I didn't want to cuss no more. When I slipped, the first couple months I was slipping. And I hate myself. It's like a knife was going. And I mean, that's all how I lived. But see, I had a new heart, new want to, new desires. I remember, Bev remembers this, when I first got saved, I, I had uh, Timmy, you remember Timmy, you know Timmy, a relative of ours, and I, he was younger than me, and I had horses, and uh, he would come over and help me with the horses, and he was there before I got saved, he wanted to be like me, before I got saved, then I got saved, he wasn't sure if he wanted all that, so, but he, said, he kept coming, because he said, it ain't gonna last, he said, I know, I know Uncle Joe, he ain't gonna last, he's an animal, it ain't gonna last, but he's just gonna hang in there, see, how far I can go with this thing. But it was growing on me. And I was getting blessed every day. And I was going out. And I just, man, I was being ministered to by the Holy Spirit. And uh, he's just going to stand there like this on my memory. And he's in the barn like this. <laughs> waiting for me to cuss. <laughs> just waiting. He'd still be waiting. God took it from me. Because I didn't want it. Amen. The Bible says, listen, the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17, Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. You're a new person. You don't talk the way you used to talk. You don't act the way you used to act. You don't go to the places you used to go to. You don't, do, you don't treat your wife like this, your husband like that, your kids. You don't do that. No, something has changed for the better. Amen. The new creature, old things, old habits, old language, old attitudes, old hatred, old unforgiveness. That's all old stuff. That's right. Listen, old things are passed away. I knew I was saved because before I was saved, I hated everybody. <laughs> hated everybody. But my four no more. I hated everybody. And when I got saved, I was hugging everybody. <laughs> they thought I was funny or something. I was hugging everybody. I just loved everybody. My God, I said, old things passed away. Everything became new. Mm. Right. I never forget when I was in that church. 800 people surrounded me. And I just got delivered from demons. And all these devils were coming out of me. And I was just crying and weeping and felt so clean. I couldn't explain it. I didn't know what I was talking about at the time. But I just started hugging and loving everybody. Amen. That's a new heart. Amen. 
You don't care what people think no more. That's right. It says, behold. Listen, old things are passed away, and behold, all things. Not some things, not a few things. All things are become brand new. The problem is, we allow these things to wear out. We allow these things to wear off of us. And if we're not careful, little by little, the old nature comes back. Mm -hmm. Little by little, the old nature tries to take over again. Little by little, that old nature, that old way of thinking, them old feelings, them old hurt feelings, them old unforgiveness, it starts to work its way through. The Bible says a little leaven leavens the whole lump. A little bit of that thinking, a little bit of that action will load up your whole heart with garbage again. Oh, you still may be saved, barely. See? Because you know better, you don't want to go to hell, because you know too much now. So what you do is you learn to live beneath instead of above the blessings of God. You learn that you struggle your way through and just muddle hope Jesus comes and gets me out of my misery instead of enjoying the abundant life that's in Christ by staying pure and clean, keeping your heart clean. Are you there? Where are you? Where do you see yourself in this message? Have you found yourself in this message yet? Because you're in there. We all are. We all are. We become brand new. Isn't it something we, we, when our glasses break, if you wear glasses, your glasses break, we get new ones. Right. We're always looking to better ourselves. We'd like to get a new home. We'd like to get a new car. Nothing wrong with those things, if you can afford it. But we could care less about getting a new heart. Amen. Or a new soul. Amen. Jesus. But this talks about here how we can become brand new again. Because see, the other things I just mentioned, they'll fade away. That's right. They do. Life will, they'll, they'll just disappear with life. Yes. As we age and as we grow older, those things, we can't take care of them no more. We can't take care of the yard no more like we used to. We can't take care of the big house no more. That's why they downsize or go into apartments or have the kids move in and let them cut the grass or whatever. Mm -hmm. See, all those things fade away. That's right. But the eternal things never fade away. No way. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Talking about a new chance here today. Yeah. I don't care where you've been. Doesn't matter what you've been through. Doesn't matter how deep you've been. No matter how much sin you're, you've got on you right now. The good news is, and that's what the gospel means, the good news, hallelujah. The good news is Jesus came to seek and to save those which are lost. Amen. He said, the sick in sin, the sick need a physician, not the healthy. That's right. The healthy are already healthy. They're fine. They don't need no... He's looking for those that are yeah. sick in their soul. That's right. That he might bring healing. Amen. Can't get it anywhere else. That's right. Isn't it interesting? So many religions... So many different things out there, like, like a smorgasbord, but yet only Jesus and I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Nobody comes to the Father but by me. Amen. Can't get into heaven any other way through Jesus Christ, no matter what you think. Amen? Amen. Amen. Ooh. Isn't it funny, too, how we, men and women, we, 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 we get haircuts, the women style their hair, and, and sometimes we give, we give no attention to our heart. Mm. Stand in front of the mirror. You know, I don't have to worry about that right now. <laughs> Stay in front of the mirror and the women. I got something back here. Stay in front of the women. Yeah, come on. And they're, they're fussing and, and all that for an hour or whatever. <laughs> Stroke it a hundred times. And, yeah. and their heart is all rotten and going to hell. Uh, that's true. Without that's Jesus. True. God's not interested in your hair as much as he is your heart. Amen. That's right, amen. Amen. Man, he don't care if you're saved as long as you're saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's what God's looking for. I can see you can't take this more, so I'm going to bring it in for a landing. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I didn't mean to meddle there, but I'll get back to preaching here in a minute. Mark chapter 16, 16. Get serious now, the last couple minutes we have. He that believeth, he that believeth, what we've been preaching so far, that Jesus came to seek and to save. Jesus loves you. Jesus came to 
die on the cross for you. He that believeth and is baptized, listen, shall be saved. Mm. But he that believeth not shall be damned. Interesting. Lord have mercy. If you believe, you're going to be saved. If you don't believe this gospel, you will be damned to hell. Ooh. He ain't playing with words, is he? Don't look at me. I didn't write it. I'm just quoting it. John chapter 5 verse 40. Quickly, Jesus said, You will not come to me that you might have life. They rejected him. He said, I want you to come to me to give you life and life eternal. But you would not. He gives us that free will. Today you have a free will. Listen to my internet. You have a free will. It's a free choice. Choose ye this day whom you will serve, the scripture says. That's right. It's your choice. He gave you that free will. Heaven or hell are the two choices. Mm. Mm. My Lord, somebody say amen. 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 All right, Isaiah chapter 51, verse 21. 57, verse 21. There is no peace, saith God, to the wicked. <laughs> no. No peace to the wicked. No. Why do you think the world's in such shambles? <laughs> There's no peace because they're wicked. But ask the believer if he has peace. In the middle of the midst of hell, there's peace. Hallelujah. To, the, to those that believe and trust God. Someone say, might say, how can I get saved? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In Psalm chapter 103, verse 12, he says, As far as the east is to the west, I will throw your sins away from you. Amen. Never to be remembered again, as long as you don't go fishing for them. Amen. Come on, somebody. God wants to save you. If you let him. Amen. He said, I'll take away all your transgressions, your, your gross sins, in other words. First John 1 John 1.9, listen. says, if we confess, if we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Stand with me as we close. We've run out of time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. In the one minute we have left. You don't know when you'll have another chance or an opportunity to accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're not here by accident today. You're not watching by internet today by accident. God has ordained this moment for you. So, with your eyes closed, head bowed, let me ask you a very important question. What will you do with Jesus Christ right here, right now? Will you accept Him or will you reject Him? They're the only two choices. How many here today say, I want to accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior? Let me see your hand. Raise it up high. Raise it up high. Yes, yes. Hands all over. Hands all over. Yes. Anyone else? Yes. I want to accept him. I won't reject him. Amen. I will not reject his plan of salvation. Let me see Amen. your hand. Raise it up high. Raise it up high. Yes. Amen. Yes. You, God Jesus. bless you. Maybe those listening by way of internet. If you mean that with all your heart, let's pray this prayer together Amen. and accept Christ as your Lord and Savior. Say, Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, I come in the name of Jesus. I come in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Lord, I ask you, Lord, forgive all my sins. Forgive all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Into my life. Into my life. And save my soul. Save my soul. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a praise offering. I hope you've all prayed that prayer. And now you may be seated for a few moments. We're